Hey buddies, Mr. Pugly here, coming at your another Borderlands 3 video. Today I'm going to be showing you the black market location and everything inside. Once I show you what's actually inside, we're going to go to Sanctuary so we can actually test the weapons. But before I show you the location and everything, I just want to tell you that I'm going to be streaming 5 hours plus every single day as soon as Wonderlands comes out for the first 2 weeks. So make sure to follow me on Twitch if you're not already. And if you're looking for Wonderlands content, you're in the perfect place because I'm going to try to make up to five videos every single day for the first two weeks as well. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. And let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! Whoa. No way! <laughs> So first things first, the actual location of the black market machine is going to be on Pandora. It's going to be all the way in Conrad's Hold, as I show right here. Now Conrad's Hold only has one fast travel location, which is all the way right here. And the actual location that you want to go to is right here. I'm going to zoom out all the way. Now you could fast travel to Conrad's Hold right here and then walk all the way, which is going to take you like about a minute and a half. Or you can travel to the Slaughter Shaft because the location is directly outside of the slaughter shaft. So I'm going to travel to the slaughter shaft real quick. As soon as you load in, you want to take immediately forward, go to Conrad's hold this way. And if you use that method, you'll be directly outside of the black market location, effectively saving you around one to two minutes of time when traveling to the actual black market location because it's literally right here. So that was about like maybe like five to 10 seconds to actually get to. I'm gonna zoom out all the way on the map again just so you can see where it is. And the items of today are going to be the Alchemist which is an okay gun. It does not great damage but it does shock damage to yourself. So if you're a fan of the Transformer shield, that's a way to regenerate some of your shields. It doesn't deal enough shock damage to regenerate all of your shields right away which is unfortunate. So it's not really that crazy of a tech but it's a tech nonetheless in case you are using the transformer shield but otherwise stay clear away from this weapon then we have the clairvoyance we can spawn in the masher and the gatling variant which we have a masher variant right here which is excellent it's a really good gun everyone loves it you'll learn if a little bit later that it's not 100 my cup of tea but it's definitely amazing if you hit the crits and otherwise decent damage and then finally we had the devil's foursome which is a pretty decent pistol it's honest i'd say it's a bit below average even for a splash damage weapon but we'll talk more about it when i go over to sanctuary first things first let's talk about the alchemist and its potential combo it is a gun that always shoots stuck gyro jets which is usually an alt fire mode for torg but this one always shoots it which is convenient because most of the time you want to use that mode over anything because it increases your total dps but these gyro jets deal shock damage and every time you shoot they deal a little bit of shock damage to yourself unfortunately this doesn't apply a shock dot to yourself which then you could use elemental projector combo but it doesn't so unfortunately no dots on yourself it can have list projectiles of one to two its max damage is 11.7k and it's always going to come in fire it also can spawn in splash annoyments as I have it right here, which is excellent to allow it to increase its damage by a little bit more. But even with that, the damage isn't too, too great. So I'm going to real quick shoot it and you see that it also drains my shield a heavy bit, especially since I'm also comboing it with the Infernal Wish. But if I were to switch to a transformer shield, you'll see really quickly that the self damage it deals will then heal our transformer because the transformer takes all shock damage that we get and converts it into shields. So that's a nifty little combo you can do. The damage isn't too, too great. Even if you hit a crit, for some reason, it doesn't activate it as like an actual crit hit. Instead, it only does the crit when you reload, at least on the Handsome Jack clone, which is a bit bizarre. I could go to the field and show you that the damage is pretty decent, but it's a bit deceiving because I'm Moe's because any damage on Moe's is just in general really good if it's splash. So the damage isn't like spectacular. It, it's okay if you're Moe's, otherwise stay clear away from it. It's not really that great. Next, let's talk about the Clairvoyance. Now the Clairvoyance comes in Gatling, which I have right here and the masher variant right here so the max damage that a clairvoyant can come in is going to be 102k but if you have the gatling version it's going to be max damage 93k while the masher max damage is going to be 39k so since it can spawn in masher variants it's a max projectile can be four otherwise it's going to have a projectile count of one this can only spawn in cryo and it does splash damage as well despite loot lemon saying it doesn't deal splash damage which is a bit weird but 
Unfortunately, it can't spawn with splash anointments, which would allow it to deal even more damage. But as you can see right here, it does deal splash damage because all of those damage I'm doing right there is proccing Fire and Skag Den, which, you know, <laughs> normally if I hit body shots, it's just, you know, cryo numbers. But if I hit the head, it has fire numbers too. So that confirms that it deals splash damage. Whether or not you prefer the Masher variant or the Gatling gun, both are available to you. So that's very, very nice. So the Master is definitely really, really great for burst. While I prefer the Gatling version because it gives you sustained fire, which is my preferred method of shooting most guns because I like full auto. <laughs> so Gatling's my type, but definitely pick up both because this is a really good gun. It deals pretty decent damage, especially if you're on flak. But there are better guns, honestly, I'd, I'd say. I, I, a lot of people hype up this gun to be like, oh my god, it's the best. But it, if you're not hitting crits, this gun isn't the best. So I'll, I'll say that. It's definitely good. I'd probably say it's like an 8 out of 10 at the very least. But I'll show you the true power of the gun when we go to Grave Ward because <laughs> easy crit spot equals easy damage with any Jacobs. Clairvoyant also has a nifty effect because it's a Jacobs. When you hit a crit, it's going to ricochet a bullet. But when you actually hit a crit on the enemy, it's going to latch a bunch of stickies and then they all explode, sending all the bullets out at once instead of individually. So you put a bunch of stickies on the enemy and then the stickies all explode at the same time, no matter what, assuming you have them on the enemy when they do explode. And then they all just ricochet to another enemy, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. So we place Blunch right there and they all exploded, which is super, super cool. A better example is with the Masher. We can get like a bunch on there and you'll see a bunch of projectiles coming off, which is awesome. And then finally, we have the Devil's Foursome, which is a pretty interesting pistol. I, I really like the look of this pistol, I'll say that. This gun can spawn in all elements. So that's fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, radiation, and kinetic. It can also spawn in splash annoyments and it's always going to have list of projectiles of three. The max damage for fire, shock, and corrosive is going to be what you see here which is 52k while cryo is going to be 56k and radiation i believe is around just 50k you got to be a little bit careful when you use this gun on mose because mose has tor cross promotion normally the gun shoots a arc as i'll show right here and <laughs> i'm a little <laughs> cautious on doing it because it's probably gonna put me down but i'll do it anyway so it's going to do like a cool sh shot animation luckily it didn't do or cross motion to kill me but it does a little arcing pattern which is very very cool looking and then it explodes when the bullets collide which is super super cool i gotta say the damage of the gun is not that great I feel like the damage could be a little bit better, but if you have Mose and if you're using Torque Cross Promotion, that means if you're just standing still, most of the times the shots are going to kill you. Luckily, it's not killing me, which is crazy. Hold on, let me go to a normal area without any wall to shield me from the damage. So I'm gonna do it real quick and we should quickly see that it kills me very, very easily right there. That's the one downside. If you wanna really use the gun on Mose, I guess you could kind of get rid of Torque Cross Promotion, but there's other splash damage guns <laughs> to use over this gun and I gotta say it's really hard to hit a crit with this gun I'm not sure if it can even hit a crit I've been trying for quite a while and I couldn't quite get a crit on Jack but I'm sure if we kept trying we could try to get it but I don't know it I can't seem to get a crit on this gun unless I'm flak which obviously you can just cheat it with fade away so it's a, also unoptimal with Moe's as well because you need to hit crits if you want to use Minesweeper because, you know, Minesweeper cheese. Now let's head over to Grave Ward so you can see how crazy Clairvoyance is. Now I'm going to do the same setup as I always do. I'm going to debuff the boss, enter exit Iron Bear, activate Element Objector, and then we're going to shoot the boss real quick. And you can see here that the damage is pretty decent. If I was using the Masher, it probably went down immediately. But as you see there, the damage is pretty good. And then I'm just going to go to a field just so I can show you in comparison on what I was saying on how the gun, when you don't hit crit spots, isn't as great <laughs> as it potentially could have been if you only hit crits. So let me give you some on-field testing real quick. Okay, so we're on the field. I'm going to try my best to only hit body shots on this dude. So we're going to see the, how the damage performs with just body shots. You see here the damage is not amazing but if you hit a crit i feel like the damage just skyrockets a lot more obviously because it's a jacob so i just did a bunch of shots and you know obviously crits are going to deal more damage but i feel like you could use other weapons and the damage would be a little bit better you gotta like most of the time try to get crits on this weapon to deal a uh, lots and lots of damage but a lot of people love this gun <laughs> so like i probably should as well but it's just not my cup of tea like i, I prefer like different type of guns than this 
like other type of Jacobs as well. I, I know Jacobs is all about critting. You know, it does the the fantasy of the manufacturer really well. But <laughs> I feel like I could be dealing a lot more damage using another gun personally. But that's just my take on it. I know that's not a very <laughs> common take on the gun. But the gun does pretty good uh, if you hit crits. But I don't want to discourage you from not picking it up because everyone loves it. So j just pick it up. You'll probably like it a lot better than I do. It's just I'm a, I am play it a little bit differently than most people, I guess. <laughs> and as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, and Rick Iglesias. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by becoming a member with the link in the comments and description or on the top right. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the last shall be First to immerse and a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain